One of the biggest surprises for me at E3 2021 was Redfall. This is a title I wasn't expecting to see anything about at E3, and honestly, I'm so glad that I saw Redfall. I, I'm so glad that this was shown off at E3 2021, and I want to talk, guys, after seeing it, I want to talk about everything that we know so far about Redfall. We can break it down, and I would love to have a real conversation with you guys in the comment section down below. So let's get into it. So guys, Redfall is, you know, everything that we know about Arcane's co-op vampire shooter. This is an article written by Rick Lane of PC Gamer. One of the bigger surprises of this year's E3, Redfall is a new cooperative shooter from the awesome branch of Arcane, the studio behind games like Dishonored and Prey. So, obviously they say it's a co cooperative shooter, guys. Kind of, you know, I start thinking in my mind about, you know, obviously Rainbow Six Extraction, that's another co-op game. And there's more and more of these that are going to be coming out, these cooperative shooters. I think it's awesome, but I would love to see them, you know, kind of evolve Redfall into like multiplayer and having those PvE elements. Obviously, PvP would be great. Co-op is awesome as well, but we'll get to that here shortly. As for what Redfall is, well, that's an interesting question. The reveal trailer Bethesda showed off makes it look like Left 4 Dead with vampires, but a closer look at the available information reveals an intriguing hybrid of Valve's cooperative masterpiece and the design ethos that made Arkane such a highly regarded developer. So the first thing, the release date. Arkane hasn't give us a, given us an exact day to expect Redfall, but there is a rough launch window, summer 2022, which is specific enough this far out. So summer 2022, guys, you know, take it with a pinch of salt. It very well may get pushed later on into the year. Let's hope not. Let's hope it stays summer. Obviously, guys, you guys can check out the the trailer. Trailer's awesome. Obviously, uh, X, uh, Xbox Game Pass is going to be hosting Redfall. Redfall is coming to Game Pass on day one. Absolutely awesome. So what's the story here? So while the specifics of Redfall story are unknown, Bethesda has sketched out the basic plot. According to a reveal page for the game, Redfall is an island town that used to be known for its quaint streets, breezy boardwalks, and charming neighborhoods. Then the vampires moved in and ruined everything. Redfall's vampires are not typical undead bloodsuckers. Instead, the product of a scientific experiment gone wrong. I assume that experiment wasn't, can we make vampires? Because that would be astonishingly stupid. The page also mentions that these vampires have managed to eclipse the sun, which gives us some insight into their power. Obviously, they're not going to die if they get into the sunlight. I love the idea, though, of vampires, though. I think that's a great idea for, for, for this title. It gives you, you know, like the Left for Dead kind of comes up and you kind of think of that dying light. You think of just like a number of different titles when you start talking, you know, the way that they're explaining Redfall. I'm excited, though, about it, to say the least, guys. I think this could be something really special. Obviously, Bethesda being bought out by Xbox, this is just another reason to get the Xbox, guys. I mean, it's another Xbox exclusive. So, Redfall lets you play as one of four characters, each with a different backstory and particular set of skills. So, Layla Ellison, Devinder Crowsley, Remy De La Rosa, Jacob Bauer are the five that, um, or the four characters that you get to choose from. I wonder if they're going to be adding more at some point or another moving forward, but those four are are what we've got so far. So that's really exciting that you've got a number of different characters. The big question people are comparing Redfall to is Left 4 Dead. And, you know, so obviously, you know, is this the exact same concept? How is this going to kind of differentiate from Back for Blood, which is going to be coming out from Turtle Rock Studios? Redfall certainly has a lot in common with Left 4 Dead. Cooperative play, intense action, and undead foe. There are also more specific features Redfall shares with Valve Shooter. For example, there are multiple types of vampire that attempt to hinder your group's progress in different ways. One example seen in the trailer is the Angler, which, according to the reveal page, uses a psychic harpoon to drag you away from your team. In other words, it's a handsomer version of Left 4 Dead Smoker. But there are, there are some crucial differences, chief among which is Arkane's immersive sim heritage. In an interview with GameSpot's Tamor Hussein, Bethesda's Pete Hines cites an example from Dishonored where the player can use the possession ability to break their fall by possessing a fish before they hit the ground. And that's really interesting, guys. I mean, just some 
Really interesting, creative things going on in Redfall, to say the least. Now, another question, you know, a lot of people have been asking, is Redfall an open world game? On Redfall's reveal page, Bethesda explicitly states the game is a co-op open world first person shooter. That's not all either. In his interview with GameSpot, Hines states that the town will have a dynamic element to it. Every time you play it, you're getting something different. The world is changing from the last time you played it in ways that are meaningful from a gameplay gameplay standpoint. Awesome. Can Redfall be played solo though? Yes. In his interview with GameSpot, Pete Hines stated that you can play essentially single player solo it and play it by yourself, or you can play it with other people, which is awesome. And people have been asking, is this, you know, Elder Scrolls 6? You know, obviously guys, this is not uh, Elder Scrolls 6 in disguise almost. This is Redfall and I'm excited about it. Now, uh, one of one of the big questions for me is is are they going to add, you know, are they going to add multiplayer at some point, PvP elements? That's a big question that I would certainly have for you know Bethesda and Arcane. You know, can you make multiplayer an option where we can have more ways to connect with the franchise? I talk about this at nauseum, guys, but. When we talk about titles that you want to have full packages so you come back to play the experience over and over again, having co-op is great, having single player is great, but having multiplayer as well and multiplayer elements brings you back to the title over and over again, so I'd love to see that happen here with Redfall. But overall, guys, I'm excited about this title. What do you all think? Let me know in the comment section down below about Redfall. Let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Redfall content and videos, Stay here with Zero TV.